We're here in Gori in Georgia and this is uh, the Stalin Museum. This is where Joseph Stalin was born and now it's a little museum. Any, any thoughts sir? Yeah, I'm just uh, really enjoying the history. I love history. Hell yeah. And I don't love Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> So they've enclosed the whole structure around a big brick enclosure to, to uh, prevent the uh, original house from being destroyed. And you can see the little the house is actually very small. <laughs> Come see the gulag, Serge. So, Serge, that's where he got the idea of the gulags from, when his mum put him in there every, every time. <laughs> Wait, is he it serious? <laughs> but it could be. There's the little gulags over there. <laughs> That's where he went on time out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Past curfew. <laughs> it's a little known fact, not a lot of people know about the town of Gori and that Stalin was born in Georgia, not Russia. But he was indeed Georgian, he was born here in Gori, a little town about 25, kilo 25 to 50 kilometers off Tbilisi. It's a very unassuming place and it's very, very uh, surreal to be in a place with a person who changed the world so much was born but it's definitely a grounding experience seeing all the history here uh, we're gonna go check out the Stalin Museum next which I think houses some artifacts about Stalin's life and childhood and all that what do you have there? is that Stalin's flower? probably it doesn't That's bloom though <laughs> together <laughs> so this is Yogi he took us to uh, Gori today Yogi's from Tbilisi? Yes. Nice. No, I live in outside Tbilisi. Outside Tbilisi. <laughs> and yeah, he's kind enough to drive us here today. We met him last night at the uh, Chronicles of Georgia and he gave us a lift back to Tbilisi. And he called us today and we offered to take us to Gori. So thank you so much. And thank you so. Beautiful. Come to the Georgia. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful yes. country. And we're now entering the museum. Thank you. Oh, this is the uh, museum. This is where it's at. How's the tour been so far, bro? It's riveting. Oh my Absolutely God. riveting. You can buy a t-shirt with Stalin on them. Oh, got to buy a Stalin t-shirt. Should we cut? <laughs> Some goodies. Joseph Stalin. Is that unknown video? So I just got told off for walking through the um, souvenir shop. Oh, wrong place? Okay, so this is going down here. But it's a 15 lari to go inside to the museum. And that's the toilet. Toilet, bro. Okay. Toilet, yeah. What did they say? They said, no way. No video. So unfortunately, in this vlog, we won't be supporting communism and we won't be paying 15 lari to go inside. I'm sure we can see the uh, contents online anyway, but they don't allow for videos, just photos. So it wouldn't be worth it anyway. But we're not going inside anymore. We're taking a photo with Yogi. So he's about to show us how to do All right. the Hands. Soviet way of drinking. It's holy water. Hands out, Naruto style. <laughs> holy stuff. Hey. Let me get that angle. <laughs> What is that? Little you can Georgian do all your. Adventure. You can do like your banking on it. You can get transport. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Get cards. You just put in your number and it's like an ID. Nice. See mobile. You can toggle your mobile. Transport, banking, telco, state okay. services. That's entertainment. For us. It's another oh. Georgian uh, delicacy here. Very local. Coca Cola with coffee. With coffee. No sugar. No Good sugar. Time. It was actually created by Stalin himself <laughs> when he needed a bit of a caffeine boost to wake himself up and send people to the gulag. I don't think that part is true. Now we're hitting one of the uh, local local spots. Apparently this is where Stalin had dinner when he had some downtime, but oh, we need some spots. Mm. The menu. Painted, painted by Stalin himself. Hand painted painted himself. himself. Once again, I don't think that was true. <laughs> Take everything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> with a grain of communism. I like, I like this how Stalin invented everything, kind of. Yeah. Kind of change. This works for everything. Very nice menu. They've got the Mexican potatoes, the kachapuri, the pizza, chicken burgers, pork barbecue. Burgers were actually created by Stalin. 
sriracha. I'm not really a big soup guy. Is this the chef's special soup? Yeah. The best one that she has, a short. I give us the review. So it's mushroom, cheese, and the cheese melted in. Nice and hot. You get little bits of like melted cheese that melts in your mouth and the umami from the mushroom is. The umami. No yeah, umami. Give us a crouton review. Oh wait, wait, let me try it with the crouton. Oh, that's even better. The crouton has like smoked paprika or something on it. Nice. And it adds like the smoky taste. Do you want to try it? Because it's vegetarian. Now that's a kachapuri. Oh. oh man, I've been in that wrong this whole time. Oh my god. Showing us the local way to eat the kachapuri. Ah. Oh. You don't get this in your average tour. Nah, not at all. Imagine if we rented a Prius today. <laughs> People would laugh us and have us and we wouldn't know how to make catch up for us. The double whammy. Oh my god. Oh, what that's is that? that? I don't know. <laughs> I will find out. You can have some if you want. I don't, I'm not that hungry. But it's nice, right? It looks great. Right. Like yeah. Big... Yeah, you drop it. It's decent. Oh, I see. Madluga. <laughs> oh. well, this is my first time trying proper kachapuri. So you mix the eggs oh, with the so butter. Hot. Quite warm. Mm. The you cheese. Come with I think so. This is incredible. Yeah, the heat mm. pumps the eggs while you mix it. This is incredible. Now trying the uh, the balls. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. Is it like rice? But it seems like a lot of rice. Yes. Is it like arancini? Arancini. Do you want? Do you want some? Um, I'll try a small piece. Awesome. I still prefer the uh, kachapuri though. What's the sauce? And now for the most traditional food in Georgia. We present you. The chicken burger. Let's go try it. There's like the... It's like an Under Armour wrap. Chips are very curly. But this thing is honestly massive. The chicken is very fresh. Yeah, it's incredible. Some curly fries. Smashed in cheese. Everybody's like this one. Oh, it hasn't anything. Oh, it's like a chicken patty. Interesting. Yeah. So stop two of the day is the Tower of Goodness. It's called the uh, Apu. Oplesitske. So apparently a bunch of caves who paid out 20 lari for wine tasting and some yeah, viewings. Five lari for the wine tasting, 15 for the ticket. Oh, 15 for the ticket, 5 for the wine tasting, there we go. Four different wines. Wow. Four different Georgian wines. Georgia's pretty known for its wine, so... Hang on, I've got the map on my thing. The rock formations here remind me a little bit of Cappadocia in Turkey. A lot of uh, rocks, unique rock outcroppings rising out from the desert. A lot of walking though. A little bit Shangri-La vibes. Which is like the uh, village on top of the Himalayas. Yeah. So the caves up here are pretty cool. There's a lot of uh, hidden nooks and crannies, such as this one. Cave. Reminds me of the time we slept in the cave in Cappadocia, so if you go watch that video, we'll link below. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of uh, graffiti though. But very nice place. Oh, that's the old town before.
this whole area it used to be like an abandoned city but right next to me here is the wine cellar the old wine cellar i'm assuming we're going to taste some of the local uh, wines because we paid the uh, five lorry extra and i think it might be in the church up there so let's go check it out and see if we can taste some local wines so according to yorgi our local guide the, this fortress up here is about 3,000 years old and the church right next to me is probably around 2,000 years old because that's when Jesus Christ was born. Very ancient, a lot of history here in Georgia. Made it to the wine cellar where we've been going to taste some local wines. Oh. And, uh, we have the degustation for wines. All wines in nature, no sugar and no water. Uh, making is this wine cellar and available only this wine cellar. Cool. Even if you drink like 10 liters, still no hangover? Uh, <laughs> wine number one. one. How do you do it? Just drink it? Yeah. Mm, Whisking. We're making wine. I have no idea what this is. It's a full grape. Yeah, that's why this is orange. Oh, the Which women's wine, wine because it's yeah, red. Apparently, in Georgia, men oh, don't okay. drink red wine. So, yeah, this cheers is to the, the Pinot drinkers really? in Australia. Cheers. So this is the nine to five wine, apparently, after work drink. Yeah. Also called black wine in Georgia. After there after it's called black wine because it gives you oh, blackout drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Post tells clay pot that they it's like a decanter. Like for the wine. Wine. Oh, is this actually decanter for wine? That's what it would have used to be, like made out of clay. Yeah. Why is it decanter? So you hold wine in oh, until yeah. I can let the air out. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, so we're ending the day here with some uh, dragon's so breath cha cha. Oh, yeah. I need a red hot chili pepper. Alright, time to cap off the day with some uh, dragon's breath. Yeah. Are you ready? So I the dragon's breath. Yeah, dragon's breath. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so dragon's breath is cha cha, flavor cha cha. Hot chili and pepper infused in 72% cha cha. There we go. House made. House made, alright. Made in their bathtub. Cheers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Gamar Joss. Gamar Joss. Don't for lemon. Go for lemon! Go, 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 go! Wow. 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 How was it? It's nice. Yeah. And lemon is nice. The chili, not too bad. The pepper, India. Ooh, that's spicy. So, not wow. too bad. <laughs> I can taste it. I can feel it still. Oh, please. That's, that's nice. Because, no, right. because I can.